Hi, welcome to Love Talk Q&A, the place to get your questions answered about finding and keeping the love of your life. I'm Stefan Gonick, Soulmate Attraction Mentor and founder of the Soulmate Attraction Academy from single to soulmate.me. Now in this episode of Love Talk Q&A, we're going to talk about something that's really fun, and that is enhancing your dating or your relationship using mystery dates. So what is a mystery date? Well, the idea is actually very simple. It just means that one person is planning a date, where you're going to go, what you're going to do, and the other person has no idea what's going to happen. So it's a complete mystery for one of the two people. Okay, so I want you to just kind of imagine being on the receiving end of a mystery date. So the person that you are either dating or in a relationship picks you up at a certain time and you have no idea where you're going to go. You have no idea what you're going to do and you don't find out until you actually get there. So as the person comes, it's like, ooh, you know, this brings this little zingy feeling of excitement and curiosity. And it's like, what are we going to do? You know, and it's, it's a, it's a very romantic energy, right? It's a very romantic experience and exciting and fun. So I love mystery days myself. And so when can you do a mystery date? Well, you could do a mystery date as the very first date. If when you're, when you're just meeting somebody for the first time, I'm not sure I'd recommend that actually. It's a little risky, uh, but it'd be a very bold thing to do. Or you can do a mystery date after you've been dating a little while. You can do mystery dates when you're in a relationship with somebody, or you can do a relationship, uh, a mystery date in, in a marriage, which is actually kind of my favorite because it's a great way to bring back more romance into your marriage. Because you know, when you're married, things tend to, you know, just kind of float along an autopilot and you can take each other for granted a little bit, get into a bit of a routine. So doing mystery dates brings back some zinginess that you have plenty of when you're first meeting somebody in the beginning and going into the early dates. And you know, it takes a little bit more effort when you're married, you've been together for a long time. So mystery dates are just are really fun and cool. And you can use them at any point in the dating or relationship process. So what kinds of things could you do on a mystery date? So again, the, the whole point is one person is planning it and the other person doesn't know anything. Right. The only thing you know in advance is you decide on the time, right? Like when am I picking you up? Or if we're married, when are we leaving? Right. The house. Eh? So you know when it is. And the only question the recipient of the mystery date gets to ask is what kind of clothes do I, should I wear? And when I do, when, I, when it's my turn to plan mystery days, my wife and I take turns planning them. And it's really fun for us. But when I plan a mystery date, you know, it's the activity may or may not be clothing dependent, may not really matter what you're wearing, but if it, if it does matter, like if we're doing something that's dress up, then I might say, you know, wear dress up clothes or otherwise I might just say, wear whatever you like, you know, just kind of casual clothes. Or if, <clears throat> if the mystery date is, is some sort of outdoor rough and tumble thing, I might say, you know, wear some kind of outdoor clothes. You don't mind getting dirty. So that's it. So the, that's the only, kind of hint and a sense that the person gets and is in terms of the clothes. So the kinds of things that are really fun for Mr. Day are ideally something that's a little out of the ordinary. It doesn't actually necessarily have to be out of the ordinary. And you know, sometimes if you've been doing this for a while, it can be, you, can, you know, gets challenging and keep thinking of new ideas. So it could be a, something as simple as, you know, inviting the, the person to a, a movie that you are for sure know the person likes and you know, enhance it with something. So it could be as simple as a dinner and movie, but there's just that funness of not knowing what's coming next, right? So you pick the person up, they don't know where even you're going and you drive them and you arrive at some place and they go, oh, we're at a restaurant. Is this our mystery date? He says, well, it's part of it. And you do that and then you take them to the next thing and take them to the next thing. So it could be something pretty straightforward like that, or it could be something ideally a little bit more unusual, a little more out of the ordinary, really. So um, some great ideas for mystery dates are to bring your, your partner to a live experience, right? It could be a, a play, uh, a dance performance, a comedy club, you know, anything that is live that's not the usual routine. So going to see a movie is probably not the best, you know, the most fun idea for a mystery date. It could be something that, you know, like that. It can also be something very casual but the person just doesn't know what you're doing. So I once took my wife on a mystery date to simply go miniature golfing. You know, no big exotic thing, but 
it was fun. It was different. You know, it was during the day, and it was just this fun, different thing. And it, 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 went, it makes it more fun not knowing that that's what you're going to end up doing. It can take a fairly ordinary activity and make it more fun because you didn't know in advance that that's what you're going to do. But you can also get pretty ambitious with a mystery date. So, for instance, you could drive someplace that's farther away, not staying in your local area, to go do something a little new and different. It could be as simple as going to a new restaurant that's an hour away, to a, a, a city or town that you don't normally ever visit. So that's there's, you know, it's really fun to bring a little bit of an element of adventure to it. So that can be fun. Uh, let's see, a really a much more ambitious mystery date was something that my wife did for me one time where she actually took us to an uh, island, an island, sounds pretty cool, right? An island just off the coast of where we live. So we had to drive from our house to the coast, take a ferry from uh, you know, the coast to the island, and then we spent the weekend on this island and she had pre-planned you know, where we were staying this whole thing. So she's planned out this whole weekend getaway. That was super cool. I have to say, she, she, <laughs> that was a really good one. So you can have, get lots of different kinds of ideas. You know, you can go, uh, you know, uh, on a ropes course, right? Something, it can be something fairly dramatic if you want, you know, or those, uh, you know, blank of the name, but those high wire things where you get a little harness and you slide down. Oh, zip lines, right? You can go zip lining. You can do something like that. Or you can um, go to a go kart track. You know, that's something that's a little out of the ordinary and different, right? So you're like driving around those little, on these go karts around this curvy track and stuff. So the, the possibilities are endless. And the whole point behind them is that it's a mystery to one of the two people. And you can take turns going back and forth. You know, that, that's, that's a really fun thing to do. Like I say, my wife and I do that a lot. So that's a, a, this really fun idea for bringing more romance, enhancing the romance in your dating experiences, in your relationship, and in, particularly in your marriage. Uh, it's, a, it's a really fun thing to do. So I hope you uh, found this fun and interesting too, and, and that you're gonna have a good time planning your mystery dates. And I'll catch you on the next episode of Love Talk Q&A. Also, if you would like to understand the three key blocks to finding love and how to attract your soulmate now, sign up for the free Finding the Love You Want mini course. Well, thank you for hanging out with me. And remember, no matter how long you've been trying, you really can have the life and love you long for.